welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome happy friday guys i've got to the dollar tree i found a bunch of stuff um i even found some new fall stuff i kind of figured that was done and over with and i also found some christmas stuff not a ton of it but i found some really cute christmas things let me get my chair moved around here now as far as the fall stuff i'm going to show this big stuff here first i'm going to bring in little p i promise everybody i will still bring him in for uh, my hauls, but I'm going to wait until after I get most of this big stuff done here, and then I will bring him in later. So, um, the first thing I found that I have not seen is these really big wood planks. Well, they're half wood. i got to say, they're not completely wood. And they have these pumpkins cut out at the top, and they're just called a wood plaque. And that has a suit you can hang these with, or whatever you want to do. But they do look like they're all wood, but they're not. You can see in the center here, they're like that MDF kind of thing, and it just has like a, a wood veneer on both sides, which is pretty cool. Oops, sorry, my camera's doing something weird. There we go. But they're kind of sturdy. They're not real sturdy, but I'm thinking I may glue these two together and use these to make a really nice fall DIY with. So these measured, I measured these are 23 and a half inches long, and they're 5 and a half inches wide, so they're a really, really big size. So I was really excited to find those. have not seen them this year at all. And then I found these wood cutouts. Um, I found this one. It's like a leaf on a leaf when it's cut out. Isn't that pretty? Um, this I have not seen before. Um, I don't know why they have this on here. Like, Oh, I see. This one's just tied on here. All right. Well, that's okay. But I thought that was pretty cool. And then they have the pumpkin with like the slats. Oh, this one's got a little boo-boo on it. That's all right. We'll paint over that. You'll never notice. But look how cool these are. I really, really like these a lot. So I picked up one of the pumpkins, and then they have this other leaf with the slats I thought was really nice. Um, you could use it that way, but they have the hanger on here, so you would have to hang it this way if you wanted to hang it up. But this would look nice on a wreath or something, too, if you decorated it up pretty. And then I found this acorn. And I thought that was really nice, too. I was just surprised to find anything new at this point for fall. <coughs> so those are the wood things that I picked up. I picked up a couple of these pumpkins. I haven't seen these. These have, like, a burlap um, coating, not a coating, but overlay on the pumpkins. I thought those were really cool. So I picked up this one. It's kind of like a brownish, tannish, brownish color. It has a nice little stem here. And then I got the orange one. And I'm not doing going to do a darn thing to these. I think these will just look cute sitting around in some fall decorations. And uh, yeah, so I grabbed two of those. They were really nice. Have not seen them before. And then I did pick up a bunch of these, um, what are they calling these? I get one that's it's called Color Your Own Ornaments. Now this one I've never seen before, and this is like a little hot chocolate or whatever you want to make out of it. I thought those were really cool. And then they all come with the little jute string to hang them. And I thought those would be nice to make, um, not just for fall, but you could make these into Christmas decorations. So I think I got two of those actually. Yes, I did. I picked up, picked up two packs. You get eight in each pack. And then I picked up a pack of the acorns. Those would be nice to do. You could paint them, decoupage them, whatever. You get eight in there, too. And then these little fox. Look at these guys. I thought these were adorable. have not seen these at all this year until now. I was just surprised. I just keep saying that. I was surprised. And then, let's see. I picked these up here. I thought these were really cute. This one says, Hello, Pumpkin. You get two on here. I was calling these decor of the little scarecrows, and they're really nice. It has some jute string here and a flower, and this one has a leaf on it, and this one says Harvest Blessings, and I love the Hello Pumpkin one. So I grabbed them. They would be great to decorate with or on a DIY or something. This I thought was really cute for kids, or not even for just kids to do. They have these little paint sets. Um, it's a four-piece set. It comes with your little easel, and you have your little canvas here. I don't think it's a canvas, but... Um, and it has the little truck on it with the pumpkins in the back and a fence and says harvest time. And then you get a little brush with it and four different colors of paint. So you could put that up on an easel and have, you know, the kids paint that or whatever. Um, but I just thought that was adorable. I love this. I haven't seen them before either. And I think that is all the fall stuff I got, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look around here. I have things all over today. I get too excited. 
<laughs> Alright, that is it for the fall things that I found. Now these are not any holiday, but I found these signs down in where they have the picture frames and things for like your laundry room. This one says washing machine, and it has the noun, and it says an appliance designed to eat socks. So I thought that was really funny, and it's like on a canvas, which is really cool. So I picked up that one, and then I found this one here that says premium quality service, fresh clean laundry, wash, dry, and fold. And this is the same thing, it's on the nice little canvas frame. And then this one, these I thought were really nice. This just says wash and dry and has a washing machine on there and a nice little tile floor with the blues and stuff. This would be really nice for to mix in with your fall decorations if you, you know, do anything in the laundry room. And then I thought this one was really nice too with the basket. And yeah, they're really cool. I don't know what size they are. Let me tell you guys here really quick. I always like to give you an idea. They're about almost 8 inch, 8 inch square. So there you go. That's what those are. But I thought those were really nice. Nice little laundry room decor. And then I picked up a couple more of these um, foam things that I've used up that I need to put back into my little stockpile of things for my next project I happen to come up with. I like these round discs. You get two in here. Um, they're 4.8 inches circles here. And I use a lot of those, and then I just used up my last one of these, so I had to get another one of the floral foam. And these are, well, they're almost three inches by four inches by four inches. Close enough. But they always have these at Dollar Tree. Nothing new there. And then, oh no, I did find one more fall thing here. I picked up two packs of these little um, cups, they're calling them. They'd be great for like little dessert cups, or you could put little candies in them, or whatever you want to put in them. And I thought those were real pretty. It kind of matches their plates and things that they have out this year. Um, has a real nice design on it. And you get six pieces. And then I picked this one up too. And this one has the sunflower and the leaves on it. And I just thought these would be great to have around for fall time. Just for whatever. And, oh, these I picked up too. These I like to pick up. These are plastic condiment cups with lids. You get ten of them in here. Now, I use these for all kinds of things. I use them, like, a lot of times I'll mix colors of paint, and I'll have a lot left over, so I'll just stick it in one of these with a lid. And these are also great if you have pets you have to take to the vet and take a little stool sample. I know, that's no fun. But these are perfect for that. <laughs> that's what I use these for a lot when we have vet visits and things. But they are also great for, like, paints or, you know, even in your kitchen for condiment things that you need to put in there. All right, so now on to Christmas. They had one little square section in the middle of the store that had Christmas things on. I know my daughter, she lives um, like 100 miles away from me here, and she found a ton of Christmas stuff. Theirs is like pretty much have a whole giant aisle stocked. So she's going to have some stuff in her halls this week. Um, if you guys haven't checked her out yet, it's simply Jessica's Halls and More, her channels listed underneath this video here but she found a lot of really cool things and she sometimes you know I find the stuff they don't find it or it's great to have somebody that far away that can find some different things too but anyway yeah she found a lot of cute things she was so excited it's her favorite time of year to decorate but anyway I picked up these jars I thought these were nice I love the fact that they're doing these pretty lids on here now um, it's just called a craft bottle this one has the candy canes on it because a lot of times I like to just decoupage the bottles and things, and now the lids are already done for you. Usually they were just like a red or a green, but that's really nice. And then this one has the snowflakes on it, and I thought that was real pretty too. And hopefully the labels come off easier than they did last year, because I had a heck of a time getting these labels off. But I hope they did that differently. And then I found a bunch of these lights, a whole bunch of lights. I love making things light up for Christmas time. I found this string of lights. It's like a candy cane rope light, and it has uh, 10 lights in there. I'm guessing it says 10 piece, so I'm assuming it has 10 lights inside, and it takes two AA batteries. So I picked up two of those. I thought those were really cool. And then I picked up, what else? Oh, these were different. I never had these before. These are like those um, fiber optic kind of lights. And you get eight of them in here, and I thought, how cool would that look coming out of like a little centerpiece or something? I'm going to have to get some batteries and try one of these. Um, so I picked up two of those, and these are, you get eight little 
plates on here on this one. So I thought those were really nice. And these I picked up, they had a bunch of these. They had cases of these lights, but the one I'm going to show you here in a minute, you, if you see it, grab it because you're never going to see them again. But look at these little gnome lights. Aren't they adorable? Let's try to, let me see, I get the glare off my thing here. There we go. Yeah, they're little gnomes. And you get ten little gnomes in here that light up. I thought they were adorable. They had the gnomes. They had a bunch of other different ones I think that they had, I've seen before. <clears throat> but these, they had, I want to say they had four full cases of these lights out. And the ones, these are the truck, the red truck with the tree in the back lights. And out of four cases, this is the only one that was there. So if you see these and you want them, don't wait because they are flying. I mean, it's September for crying out loud. And these things are just flying out of the store. So I did manage to get my hands on one, so I'm very happy. That's probably plenty all I'll need for this year. But like I said, if you see them, grab them. And then I just picked up one of the plane that just has um, the white lights. They have these in all different colored lights. These are the uh, clear white. They had them in green and and red and stuff, but I like the nice bright lights, and these have 10 lights on them too. I just wish they'd make their battery packs the smaller kind, because these sometimes are a pain to try to get into a DIY project. But they do work really well, I have to say that. Oh, my Charlie Bird, he's out there making a lot of noise, I don't know if you guys can hear him. And then I picked up two of these little elf legs, and they are on this little wooden dowel. So you could just put them down in a nice little arrangement, and that would be so cute, which is probably what I'm going to do with these guys. So I grabbed two of those. They had something like this last year, but they weren't, you know, like really, these are really nice. They're really sturdy, and these would hold up well in a, in a DIY project. So I did grab a set of those, and then they had some more of the berries. I picked up the gold. Um, these are called berry garlands. You get nine feet. And, um, yeah, I really like these. These are pretty. They have been having these out for all the seasons now. Um, so I did get a gold one, and I did get a white one. I think I have a few left from last year, so I didn't buy too many of these. But I did buy one of each of those. The white ones are really, really pretty. And let's see what else. I know I love Christmas stuff. This stuff, I think this stuff they have out every year, but I wanted to grab some while they're still there. I grabbed this ribbon. I know I've um, got this before at Dollar Tree. And these are, um, whoops, upside down. I'm still upside down. There's a satin ribbon, and it's like 0.625 by 108 inches, which is 9 feet. And then same with these here. And this one has um, candy canes on it and some candies. And I thought those were really pretty. And this one is red with the gold snowflakes. And I really, really like that one a lot. So those I picked up. And I only picked up one of each because I'm almost positive I have some left over from last year. And then I also picked up this pack of the ornament filler. I mean, you can put these in ornaments. I use these on DIY projects, the snowflakes last year. Um, and they're really cute on a project. And this stuff, too, you can use this in your base fillers or in a little shaker card or something. And they have it in the silver. So I picked up a pack of those. And then I picked another pack of these bows up. I know they have these every year, but sometimes you can't find them. And I, I think I had a hard time, I think it was last year where I couldn't find these. So I did grab myself another pack. You get 12 in here of the mini bows. And they have a little twisty tie on the back to do whatever you want with those. And then I did pick up two more of these Christmas trees. Now you know, these guys are kind of, you know, they're really sparse as far as a Christmas tree goes, but what I usually do with these, are these all in plastic? I don't want to crinkle everybody to death here. No, they're not. But what I usually do with these guys is I take all these things and I cut them off. And I use these in different arrangements and stuff and it looks really nice because they have like the two-tone uh, green to them, unlike the the twisty ties that they have with the, you know, the pine on and it's just like one color. So that's what I usually do with these. I did pick up a couple of them. I got two of those. And then I found these bags. I thought these would be pretty cool for like if you're going to someone's house and you want to take gifts or something. You could decorate this up. This is a really big, and it's a nice fabric here. It's real sturdy. Um, and it even has a pocket in the front. And these are huge tote bags. They are really, really big. I don't think it says on here how big they are, but 
you could put a lot of stuff in here. So I thought that would be fun to decorate up maybe for Christmas and um, to throw gifts in when you have to like take them somewhere, you're going somewhere, or just if you want to use them to go grocery shopping and just decorate it up for Christmas and head to the grocery store. <laughs> Makes it a little more fun. All right, so that I believe, oh no, 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 no. Let me show these and then I will go get a little pea in here. I did pick up some of these flowers, so it's like, let the glitter begin. I'm going to try to keep these in this bag here and put these away because I'm not re anywhere near ready to start a lot of Christmas crafting yet. But I thought these were so pretty, these little um, berries and things on here. I thought those were really nice, and they're like a real muted color. It's not like that bright red or anything. And I got these white ones. I got a couple of each of those, and then I picked up two more of these. I love these to put in centerpieces and things for the holidays, too. These are just, what are they calling these? These are just calling branches. But they did have them in gold, too. I think I still have some gold ones, because I tend to do more silver and reds for Christmas than I do gold. All right, so that is it for that stuff. So let me go, let me actually clear some of this stuff off of here, and then I'll go get little pig, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here is little Sweet Pea. He's coming in to say hi. He actually just woke up from taking a little nap. Would you sleepy this afternoon? It's kind of cloudy and rainy. Would you sleepy? And now you're itchy. You just took a shower and a bath yesterday. All right, so we're going to show him the rest of the things we got here, and you're going to behave, right? Are you going to behave? Yeah, you're so stinking cute. All right. So then I did pick up a tube of the Whitening Colgate Toothpaste. This stuff's really nice. I just love the way this stuff just makes your mouth feel when you're done brushing your teeth. But this is the Crystal Mint. It's a 4.6 ounce. And I need to put my... Wait a minute. Hang on. I like that one. You can have this old one right there. Um, I just like the way your mouth feels when you're done brushing with those anyway. There you go. Have at it, Pay. And then I grabbed two packs of these Falls Relief Cough Drops because my throat is always dry with allergies and whatnot. And my store was completely out of these the other day when I was there. So I just grabbed a couple of these until I can, you know, get a bigger bag at the thing. But these things keep my throat going here good. And, you know, you get 14 drops in here. Are you having fun? Yes, that's your mission in life is to destroy... And then I did pick up another roll of this, um, what are they calling this, vinyl top liner. Um, this stuff's great, you know, in your cabinets or whatever. You don't get a ton of it on here, but I just have one little shelf and things that I want to replace. And I really like this color, kind of brown and white. Um, what is it? It's 12 inches by 30 inches, so it's not like a huge roll of your shelf liner or anything. But it is very nice shelf liner. I've used it on a lot of times. Are we having fun? <laughs> And then I did pick up another pack of these Fisher-Price Fisher Baby Wipes. Um, I know, I got to hold things up here higher now because he's in here and I had to raise up my camera. Um, I love to keep these. I have a little one of those little white containers that you put them in that you pop out of in my craft room here. These are great for cleaning up. Your, if you do stamping or something like that with the ink, it's great to wipe off your stamps with or if you get paint on your hands, whatever. I just love to keep these in here. And I also keep some out in the bird room, too, for little mishaps on the floor. Why don't you turn around so at least people can see you? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I touch your tail? Come over here. Don't you want to see people? No? You don't want people to see what you're doing? <laughs> and then I did pick up two more packs of my favorite garbage bags because the last Dollar Tree did not have them in. And um, you get ten bags in here, the vanilla scent, and these are the 13 gallon ones, and I absolutely love these garbage bags. Is that fun? <laughs> Any kind of toy or anything that he can just pull apart. And then I picked up another can of these mixed nuts that I like. I really like these a lot. Um, they have the peanuts, Brazil nuts, cashews, and almonds in them. And it's just a good size. Now you're going to go get into it. Whoops, sorry. See, I moved the whole camera. Look, you're shaking people. There we go. Can you stay here for a minute? I didn't put up my scary Halloween sign here to keep you out. These I picked up down in where they have like the silverware and things like that and the, you know, kitchen utensils and stuff. They had these um, 
spoon rest. They always had them in the white, but they had this time they had them in the red. They had them in the white too. They had this pretty blue, and these are great to do little DIYs for gifts and things too. And then they had this really pretty green. I really like this one a lot. So I did grab those three. And what else did we get here, P? Of course, for my husband, I picked up another jar of the Breckenridge jalapeno slices because you guys all know these are his favorites. Eats them on everything, almost. And what else did we get here, P? All right, I did pick up two more of these Coffee Mate um, hazelnut flavor for my husband, too. I love this. Like I said, I love this size. It's perfect. Yeah, I know you can buy the bigger sizes, probably a little bit cheaper, but this is just a perfect size for him because he's the only one that uses this stuff. So I did grab him two more of those. So he's pretty stocked up on those for a little while. Um, and I think that is it, what I got at the Dollar Tree. Now, yeah, you know what these are, huh? Because you're always out there when your dad is making the coffees, huh? Now you're not interested? Well, turn around and say hello to everybody. Everybody's been waiting to see you, and you're ignoring everybody. You're, that's rude. Huh. What's on your beak? You eating your cherries today, huh? She loves those black cherries. My husband cuts them up in the morning and takes all the pits and everything out. And these guys really like those. But your beak is now black cherry colored. Where do you want to go? Yeah? Are you saying hi to everybody or bye to everybody? <laughs> You're such a stinker. Always wanting to get in trouble. Always wants to play, play, play. Doesn't really want to get in trouble. He just wants to play with everything. And he thinks everything is his toy. Right? I think that's right. And I'm so stinking cute that I get away with murder. Yes, you do. I'll flip you upside down. I'll tickle your belly. I'll tickle it. I'll tickle it. I'll tickle it. You're so stinking cute, Pay. He's so cute. He'll let me, like, file his nails sometimes if I can't get to the groomer right away. I can just sit and file the sharp points off of them because sometimes they get really sharp. Huh. But, yeah. There you go. All right. Well, tell everybody thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys all next time. Say goodbye, P. P. Woohoo. Turn around. Say goodbye, everybody. <laughs> all right. Have a great day, everyone.